All right, Hagoz el Machos Banev, somebody who steals and feeds his kids with the amount that he steals. Viniach lefnehem, or he puts it in front of them, meaning he leaves it for them, and uh, after the father dies, they eat it up. Petur Shalem. they don't have to pay for that. They don't have to pay, meaning the, since the, the theft is not there anymore, and um, they only have to, uh, you know, it's like an obligation of the father, not their obligation, the stuff that he leaves for them afterwards, they do not have to pay it back. However, vim hayadavr sheyesh ba'achrayis, if it was something that had uh, your responsibility on it, property, real property, if, they, if, if, they, if he stole land, so then, then they have to return that. That never loses the name of the owner on it, and therefore they do have to return the, the stolen properties afterwards. Now, So you're not allowed to exchange money from the box, from the collection box of the tax collectors, nor from the, the wallet of those who are collecting the, the taxes in the, you know, in, in the marketplace. They ain't no them hand stuck, and you can't take stuck from them. Why not? Why not? Because the tax collectors, right, they're, they're stealing the money from people. They're taking the money that, that they shouldn't be taking. My mother worked for the IRS for 30 years. Um, <clears throat> the Gemara explains, of course, we're talking about like tax collectors basically who are given free reign you know, by, the, by the king, you know, go take whatever you want. And the assumption was that they were taking much more than they were supposed to be taking according to the rules of the government. They were taking and taking and taking and stealing and putting in their own pockets. And therefore you had to assume in these situations that these were people who were, had ill-gotten gains in their, in their money. And therefore you can't exchange your money. You're going to take money that's, that was used uh, for, well, that was theft. However, yeah, if you're going to that guy's house, that tax collector's house, or he's coming to the marketplace with his own, you know, monies, he's coming to do business, so that already we don't assume. We assume that the monies that were in the, the tax collection box are theft, but you don't have to assume that his own personal monies uh, necessarily got mixed up with, the, with these monies and, and that you wouldn't be allowed to, to do business with them.